We are continuing this season of 21 days where we're preparing our hearts for Easter and we're looking at some of the I am statements that John records about Jesus and there are two in John chapter 10 that we're looking at today. First one I want to read from John chapter 10 verse 9. Jesus says, I am the door. If anyone enters through me, he will be saved and will go in and out and find pasture. So Jesus is painting this picture of sheep being in a field, actually in a pen, and this whole idea of him being the door, the way in and out. But it's something he says actually before he talks about being the door that really compels me. He says that the sheep know his voice. They know exactly who he is without even seeing him because they hear his voice. One of the things that's always fascinated me have been every once in a while I hear about a basketball coach or a football coach who even though everything is roaring and loud and going crazy around them, there are some coaches who choose to talk to their players on the court or on the field in just a normal voice. They don't try to yell over the crowds, but rather they just speak in a normal voice and they've practiced it so much that the players actually recognize it. I don't know about in your house, but in our family, since our boys were really little, if we would be in a, a store or in a crowd or somewhere where they would be away for us, we have just this little noise that my wife would make. Just I'm, I'm not gonna do it for you because it may not sound right here, but just this little noise that we would make that would grab their attention from across a crowded room. Why? Because they recognized that that was their mom, that that was their dad, and they would turn immediately most of the time. I wonder if in a crowded world with as much noise as there is going on all around us right now, I wonder if you're able to recognize the things of God. I wonder if you're able to recognize the voice of Jesus and the things that He wants you to do. Can you filter out and recognize His wisdom as opposed to everything else that's going on out there? So real briefly today, I'm gonna to give you one more of these I am statements because they, they truly go together. Jesus says, I am the good shepherd. And it's the whole idea that the sheep can trust Him. We can trust that He is going to lead us into green pastures. He is going to lead us through the valley of the shadow of death. He is going to be right there with us every step of the way. And the reason for Him to lead us is not just to save us, although He says that He will do that. He'll do that for His people. It's not just to save us, but it's also to give us abundant life, to give us life to the full. And that is the statement that comes to us in John chapter 10, verse 10. Jesus says, The thief comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. I have come that they might have life and have it abundantly. That is what God wants for you today. Filter out all the noise and focus your attention on what He says and what He wants for your life.